everybody and welcome to Planning with Donna today. I have a big dashboard plan for you guys, plan with me. And this is gonna be for the last couple days of February into the beginning, first five days of March. And I am featuring on a bean paper company, designer wallpaper volume one sticker book exclusively. So let's go ahead and get started. I did not white out so boo me but i am going to put down a little piece of washi here just to hold this in place for me and i think i'm going to go ahead and white out this little strip here and these little dots here and that might be sufficient what do you think Hope everybody's well today. Welcome to all my new subscribers. It is so great to have you here. And I am so happy that you have chose to click on my video. So welcome. I'm gonna go ahead and start by doing a little bit of this minimal layering right here. And then I put a cluster together. I find it's a little bit easier with paper stickers if you go ahead and just Get a piece of extra, uh, a page from your planner, and just go ahead and use that as a means to sort of make your little pattern of what exactly you're looking for there. And I think it just makes it super easy to go ahead and do that. And I apologize for the motorhead next door. That feels like he has to rev his engine every time he pulls out of the driveway i literally want to go over there and say you know what do you have any idea how much gas you're burning when you do that obviously he doesn't but i want to literally knock him in the head i'm like really i just i think that stuff like that is so ridiculous it's like mm -hmm. i'm like Seriously, oh, people are just stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna put this, I am more than enough, right there. And that's one of the little quotes from the back of her book. She's got a whole page of prompts and quotes back there. So that comes in super cute. I'm trying to make up my mind, no. Nope, I was gonna say, I'm trying to make up my mind if I wanna do this or this. And I think I'm gonna put that right there. And this little header right here. Okay, so I've got that little cluster done just because I wanted to see what direction that was gonna head. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start over here at the top and hopefully we will get this side down just as easily as we did the beginning top corner. Okay, so, alrighty. So, so far this week is going pretty fair. I'm not gonna to complain too much. Um, Mom actually got home from the nursing home today Praise the Lord above. Dad is still sick as 12 monkeys. I'm telling you, it's, yeah, he's like me. When he gets sick, he gets sick. So anyway, he managed, I, I called him this morning and I said, Dad, I can call an ambulance and I can have them bring her home. no. I'll go get her. Yeah, okay. Hard head makes us off behind. That's what Grandma always used to say. See how that works for you. So I finally got that sticker down relatively straight. And I'm just going to sort of pop this right in here, trying to bypass those little mushrooms over there, so that I don't have to cut off too much of that. And then I'm going to come down through the center there with this. Oops. Oops, 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 there we go. This, to try to, come here. 
I think sometimes the best thing to do is just let it fall where it wants to fall. There we go. And I still feel like I have, because I don't know if it'll even let me cut this off. It might, and it might not. Let me bring it back up. And it did. Can you believe that? That'll never happen again in a million years. I was getting ready to say, we can always have it going. Let's see. Cut that little tiny strip off right there. And pull that, whatever that is. Take this. You can always put it there. Give that a little bit. That way it's not too much over on this side. You really, that sort of looks like it goes down in and underneath there. So there's that part. And then I'm going to take this little blue box and put it right there. I don't know if that's straight or not. Y'all know I struggle with straight stickers. And I, I, I really try. But I've gotten to the point now where when I put them down, if they're real crooked, I do try to bring them back up or at least straighten them out a little bit. And that's not exactly where I wanted that, but it's staying. I'm like, whatever. Okay, this might be colossally difficult to get up off of this page. Okay. Because I get a little overzealous and start putting all the stickers down, and the next thing you know, it's like, oops, I have a mess over here to try to get up off this page. Luckily, they're coming up pretty good. Now, if I can just get this to, there we go. Not too shabby. I can't believe that popped up as good as it did. So my whole idea here, and I tore that sticker. I might have to take that sticker off and get a different one. Was to sort of have some division here. So I'm going to try to get the division relatively straight. And I knew that wasn't going to come out exactly right. We're going to camouflage it. We are going to camo it. So just everybody remain calm. Remain calm. Because I got this yellow flower. And I'm going to run it right there. And I'm going to try to pull this. Whew. Okay. Wipe the sweat from my brow. It's like, really? That was intense. <laughs> now we're going to put this one down here. Right, butt that right up against there. Looks like we got flowers coming out of every spot. There we go. And this sticker, um... Yeah, I think it's going to go to Sticker Heaven because, yeah. Let me get a different one and give yourself a little header there. And I might even take this and put up here as a header as well. Okay. All right, so we've got all that going on. So now let's do the bottom. I'm gonna take one of the strips from the wallpaper pages. I think it's the second section in the book. And I tore it just a little bit. So I'm trying to be sort of gentle and not tear it any further. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn that this way. Okay. Like I said, I tore it a little bit and there we go. 
I know you can sort of see that, but you know, I've turned it every which way but loose, trying to fix it, and uh, yeah, they have it. Okay, I apologize for the sirens, I know. Welcome to the excitement of planning with Donna, where it's not unusual to see police cars and or ambulances and or who knows, fire department, blazing up and down her street at any, any given moment during her video. Yeah, there you go. Just so you know. I live right around the corner from the hospital. And Jan Care is literally about four doors down. Yeah. But believe it or not, and you won't believe this, this is a relatively quiet neighborhood, really. I mean, other than this occasion during the day, it's really not bad. I don't really have any complaints because it seems like every time you hear this, it's when I decide to video. So, if I'm not videoing, it's relatively quiet. I don't know. I don't try to figure it out anymore. I just sort of go with it. I sort of tore that right there just a little bit. And I think I'm just going to try to pull that off. There we go. Yeah, we'll just overlap just a little. I know these stickers are sticky. Which, you know, I guess they're supposed to be because they're stickers. Duh. Okay, now I'm going to cut this just because I think it's going to look completely weird if it overlaps. These cats, they scare me to death because they're not my cats, but they get on my porch and they fight. And I don't know what to do. Maybe you all can give me some advice because here's the deal. These cats are not mine and what they're doing, oh, that looks completely stupid. Um, and I know this is going to sound really gross, but I'm just going to put it out there. They get under, they're getting I don't know how, but they're getting under my house. And needless to say, it doesn't smell the most pleasant at times. And I don't know how to get rid of them. Like there's strays around here and I don't know how to get rid of them. So I don't know how to get rid of them without going to, the, to jail. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so I just... I'm very frustrated because like I said, I don't have cats anymore. I don't want another cat. I don't want anything that I have to feed or clean up after in any form or fashion ever again. And I just, I don't know what to do because I'm really getting irritated with the fact that they get on my furniture on the porch. They're literally jumping up on the back porch, you're not going to believe this, they're, they're jumping up on the po back porch and getting up on the roof of the house. And in the mornings, I sound like I've got an army going across the roof of my house. And you can hear it. Really? And I just don't know. I don't know how to get rid of them. I want to get rid of them humanely, like put out some kind of a spray that they don't like the smell of it, and they'll go on. But... And they're starting to tear up underneath my porch because there's like four or five of them. And it's really starting to um, upset me just a little bit. Just saying. Like I'm getting to the point where I'm not having a whole lot of tolerance. And that's not a good place to be in my world. So, you know, and... I know the neighbor across the right away there, I know that she has a cat, but her cat's an inside cat. It's not the same cats. I'm going to put this up here just to fill in that little spot right there. And I'm going to put this one right here. And I'm going to jump over here and get another sticker to go straight across. I feel like I co covered having plenty of functional space. I need, I want a green one. 
like I'm on that one in green. I'm, here we go. I'm using these boxes, I think, way too fast. Because, you know, now that I've given up the shop, I hesitate to get on my computer and I'm being really lazy about it because I just, I've completely lost interest. I mean, I like getting on there and fiddling around when I want to, but to sit there and I like creating stickers, but I just, I don't know what it is, guys. I just, I'm done. Burnout. It's called burnout. Um... I, can't, I thought I might put something right there. And I think it's going to have to be this, just because there's not a lot of this color. I'm trying to fill in all my white space, just because I think it looks better when you do that. Okay, now, let's move on to this page. And this page is going to be much easier. I took one of the great big pieces of wallpaper, like this. And I'm just going to put it right up here. And that just very nicely covers up all that drama that Happy Planner thinks that every planner needs. And I'm going to put this little flower popping right out the top. We had snow here today. And there was no school. I couldn't believe it. I was like... I woke up and I just thought to myself, oh, my dad has to get out in this. So that sort of upset me. And, you know, it is what it is. And <clears throat> I looked out the window and I'm like, well, okay. Like, it snowed. Like, not like two inches. But, you know, in Raleigh County here, a snowflake can fall. And they're like, oh, no school. Like, Two inches in West Virginia is absolutely ridiculous to close school for. But you know, who am I? I don't I don't run the school district, so it's not up to me. Now I thought what I did with this green was super cute. Take this and I put it right here in that corner. And then I did the same thing here. here. I love these little green things. I think they're super cute. And then I took these little whimsy things, whatever they are. I think they're cute. And have them going one that way. And then one out this way. And then for each day, I have a prompt. I have doing, feeling, cleaning. Friday's is usually like a clean day or the last of the cleaning. I usually do most of my reading on Sundays. I do most of my binge watching on Friday and Saturdays, and I don't care if that's covered up just a little bit. There we go. And then Thursdays is usually when I go to my mom's and give her a bath. I'm going to see if Home Health can come in and help me with that. So I, when I go, I can just visit and do other things and that says planning and then i have some more of these little flowers that i'm using as my bullets which i think are absolute perfection for this they work out so so nicely and just add that little pop of color and interest that i think just makes the whole spread just sing and then this was something I made for my sticker shop and I'm just going to put my little computer here because I like to answer emails and all that stuff on Friday evenings 
going to pull this away. I don't think I have any trimming to do that I am aware of. I think we're all pretty kosher here. So I might have just a little bit on this one side and we'll call it done right here and right there. That was it, folks. All righty. Well, and this little bit right here. Not hardly enough that you can even notice it. So there we go. What do you guys think? I think that one turned out cute. I like this one better than the first one that I did. I feel like I was just so over, like I, I my sensory just went woo. Because you had so much different stuff to pick from. And, you know, we're used to the same old, same old. So, you know, it's it's hard when you get a new sticker book and it's like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> so, this is featuring, again, Anna Beans Designer Wallpaper Volume 1. And this is for the week of February the 27th, ending in March the 5th. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!